Okay, hope you enjoy your Z-pad. I bought one for Jim. This is his, and there was a little learning curve, so I thought I'd make this little video. Never made one before, so bear with me. First thing you want to do on your Z-pad at the very top up here in this corner, I'll turn it over. This is how you turn it on, and that is where you plug in your um, charger. So charge it, and then press the power button. Hold it down until it says Z pad 107. Takes about a minute for it to um, come up on the screen. Feels like a lot longer, but it's really only a minute. There's also in your package a screen saver that's on. It doesn't fit real good. I've got mine on, you can see. But you want to put your screen saver on because they say that these screens um, scratch real easy. Up here on top, that's your camera. So if you want to take pictures or videos, you can. I think over here on the side is for the headphones. and it comes with a little set of headphones. And then it has a little um, attachment. I forget what that's called, but you can attach it to your computer. Like the same ones you charge your phones with. Okay, <clears throat> so we're up, and the first thing to do, mine's already set up, you won't have the date and stuff, but um, to, in order to turn that on, it just timed out, so you just press that, and it comes back on. Press the power button real quick. You want to slide the lock down, and then it opens up, um, just to kind of get you familiar with the screens. This globe takes you to the World Wide Web. And um, and then to go back, you can you can either go back a screen by by pressing the back arrow, or you can do the one that looks like a house home. Press home, and it will take you back to your home screen. Yeah, I say that it doesn't do it. There, the back arrow did. Um, the large the little dots here in the middle that'll take you to the window screen that you're pretty familiar with. These are all your apps and stuff. Um, and then if you wanted to buy something, there's your shop up here. You press that, and you have to set up a, a Google account, but um, that's where you go shopping. I'm going to go back and show you how to set up your Wi-Fi. The three little dots down here, you're going to want to set up that. So you can change the wallpaper once you've taken a picture, manage your apps or system settings. So you press system settings and it comes here so then that's where you set up your Wi-Fi and it's got other things that you can set up as well okay so that's what you want to do your time your clock which I've already done so you'll set that all up then you can go back to your home screen and um, this little icon here I believe takes you to your camera and um, if you press the camera up here, you can switch to camera. I think he had it on video. Oh, get my ugly mud out of there. Okay. So if, if something comes up and you can't see your bottom menu, you just scroll this down, and, that, and then you can press your home button. It'll take you back to your home screen. So if we go to Wi-Fi, or if we go to the World Wide Web after you've um, put your um, Wi-Fi information on there, your, your picture is not going to show you the website. So if you want to change websites, you just take your finger and make your screen go down and see up top, that's where your website is. And you can um, just touch that, it, it highlights it, and then you can um, exit out that address and then type in any address you want and I typed it in and then just press go and it will take you to the Google scene and you can see it's working up here where that where that line is. Um, the other thing is when 
if there's a bunch of little folders up here. You can touch that and it's going to show you what websites you've been to. And you can add a new website here by pressing the plus sign. Um, you can turn these off, as, off at X amount just by pressing the X sign. So, if we can do the Facebook and just say it's gone. You can go back to your previous screen or you can go home. Okay, so that'll get you started. If you set up your mail, it's going to have a little, I don't know if you can see it, right next to the clock down here. It's got an envelope. You can press the envelope and your mail will come up. So that's how you do that. And um, you can just press your finger on the screen and hold it. You can also make your screen go this way and that will refresh it. This will adjust your brightness and that is your Wi-Fi. I don't have anything else on here. So anyways, that's how you do it. And if you press this button down and hold it, it's going to come on here. And if you're on a plane, you can press the airplane mode, or if you want to turn it off, you just turn it off, say yes. And that's it.